Good morning. Devil May Cry 5 has finally been revealed with a glorious E3 trailer that looks absolutely freaking badass. Hey what's up good people, my name is All Emotion, and as a massive fan of the Devil May Cry series, where I pretty much enjoyed Devil May Cry 1, 3 and even 4, I was highly anticipating this title ever since it was confirmed to be in the works last year. And it's officially been announced coming to Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC in Spring 2019. Director Hideaki Itsuno and the core team have reunited to create the most over the top, technically advanced and insane action Devil May Cry experience yet. And in this video I'm going to share with you everything we officially know so far from Devil May Cry 5. So let's get right into it. As the trailer starts, we immediately see how stunning Devil May Cry 5 looks with its great looking graphics and detail of the characters and environments. Devil May Cry 5 is making use of the Resident Evil engine. So it's the same engine that's been used for Resident Evil 7 and it surely shows the high fidelity of the graphics that utilize photorealistic character designs and stunning lightning and environmental effects all showing to deliver on a true solid 60 FPS action. This is what we know of the story so far. It takes place some years after Devil May Cry 4 as we see a new demonic invasion happening in Red Grave City. And as we see in the trailer, this attracts Nero, who finds himself without his demonic arm. And according to Capcom, he will be able to play with three demon hunters. So yes, that's right, Devil May Cry 5 will feature three playable characters, with each one offering a radically different playstyle. And as we look at the key art, we can pretty much see the three characters on the cover of Devil May Cry 5. The middle one clearly being Nero. The left is clearly Dante, and on the right, it's a brand new character with tattoos all over his arms we haven't yet seen in the trailer and introduced to us yet. Nero, who was introduced in Devil May Cry 4, is one of the series' main protagonists and a young demon hunter who has the blood of Sparta. And as we see, he's heading over to Red Grave City to kick some demon ass. But he's not alone, as we're introduced to a brand new character in Devil May Cry 5, and her name is Nico. Assistance. And she's a self-proclaimed weapons artist who travels with Nero. She's a first-class weapon crafter and her grandmother is the first-class gunsmith Neil Goldstein. And what's interesting is that Neil Goldstein is a character from the Devil May Cry novel by Shinya Goigeta, known for her skill in creating custom weapons. As she's the one who crafted Ebony and Ivory, Dante's custom guns. And in Devil May Cry 5, Nico made the anti-demon artificial arm called the Devil Breaker for Nero. And as you can see in the trailer, she's very proud of it, as the way she looks at her work and talks about it with much confidence. Yeah, he's a real pro at smacking demons around. That's why I built him that well-functioning arm <laughs> to kick demon ass. Due to a certain event, Nero lost his demon hand and thus his powers of the Devil Bringer. With his new bionic arm, it's becoming part of your gameplay and fight style, and it can be upgraded. And we can see that it's used for various purposes and attacks in combat. The gameplay and action in Devil May Cry 5 looks absolutely good and is very fast. And according to Capcom, Devil May Cry 5 will feature intense action, amazing graphics, and the fastest gameplay in the series to date, allowing you to move however you feel. You can create combos by grabbing, pulling and diving into enemies. Grab an enemy, pull them in and attack them with your sword. And the mechanical arm of Nero can be customized and upgraded. And we can get a good idea of what Nero's Devil Breaker arm can possibly do and how it can be upgraded with new power-ups and movesets. As in the trailer, we see Nero use it for several purposes, shooting the arm at the enemies. It also delivers electric shocks to enemies. You can use it as a grapple hook, Nero is also using it to grab and swing enemies, he's using it as a rocket launcher, but also he's using it as a slow motion mechanic to slow down the enemy and attack. It's even used as a hoverboard. I mean how freaking cool is that? And I bet that more can be upgraded through Nico, as she's pretty much the one who's built it for Nero. And even in this scene we can see that she's holding another red arm. Cash first. Venom Snake comes into my mind. 
so you can pretty much decide how your playstyle is and there are more new action and systems to be announced as the possibilities for new styles will definitely expand it. And last but not least we can see Dante at the end. He still looks great but clearly we can see that Dante has aged very well. And that leaves me with Virgil as I don't think he is the third person on the right side of the cover. But I'm more convinced that it's a new character that will be joining Nero and Dante. And we will find out about him very soon I guess. And during the trailer we see a short scene where Nero is being grabbed and thrown away and his arm is being ripped off so his powers aren't there anymore and you wouldn't notice it since the trailer is so dark but when I expose the image we can clearly see that it's Virgil behind the black coat and he's grabbing Nero and throwing him away and we also see a glimpse of his face and at the end of the trailer as Nero recalls that he says that he has a score to settle with him I've got a score to settle with that son of a bitch. And since Nero has a score to settle with Virgil for what he's done to his arm, they won't be friends anytime soon. Devil May Cry 5 is finally here guys and it surely looks to be heading to a very good direction with some new changes into its mechanics and the overall look and style. But it still feels like Devil May Cry with its stylish, action-packed, great badass music and over-the-top badass action scenes. And I'm sure the team will do a great job to make this game really deliver. <laughs> So here you have it folks, these were my quick thoughts on the newest Devil May Cry 5 for real and everything that we know so far from it and I'm sure more info shall come very soon and I hope that this video was insightful to get a good idea what to expect from Devil May Cry 5. But my question to you guys is, what do you think of the reveal and announcement of Devil May Cry 5? What are your thoughts on the characters, Nero, Nico, Dante and Virgil? Do you think that's Dante on the cover or is it a new character? And what are you most excited to see and experience in Devil May Cry 5? Jump into the comment section below and leave me your thoughts. Listen guys, while you're here, why don't you like the video and become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And follow me on social media simply at Yellowmotion for more updates. And that'll do it for me guys for this one. Thanks a lot for being here and thanks a lot for watching. I see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, my God.